But speaking of not working out, man, I am sad to say, are the Migos breaking up? We've seen Takeoff and Quavo make a song together and call us uh, themselves Neff and Unk. We see Offset has unfollowed them on motherfucking Twitter and Instagram. We see that they've canceled their Governor Ball, Governor's Ball show in New York, which I was looking forward to potentially going to see any niggas. And I'm just really holding my breath and praying and hoping that even as you hear it now, you know what I'm saying? We can't break up the Migos, my nigga. Break up the Migos, you know what I'm saying? I remember when them niggas dropped Culture 2 and I was watching Zaytoven dribble on the motherfucking guitar in the middle of High Line. You know what I'm saying? It's not open anymore, you know what I'm saying? It was a club or, you know, a spot to go to back in New York, you know what I'm saying? They came to New York, opened up Culture 2, shutting it down. But, uh, man, I, 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 I must tell you, though, man, I'm, I'm very, I'm very saddened. I'm very... I'm very leery, I'm very, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm hurt. If the Migos gonna break up, man, I, I just, like, how, what are we gonna do? I feel like, honestly, they are better together. Like, each one of them individually can definitely hold it down, definitely do their thing. Quavo nice with the, with the hooks and creating melodies and creating songs. And, of course, Takeoff is the under underrated sleeper in the group. And Offset just be motherfucking snapping. And I just don't see how, like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to separate all of them niggas and not have them bring all of their talents together. You know what I'm saying? It's like Captain Captain Planet combined. You know what I'm saying? It's Amigos. It ain't just going to be one nigga. It's Amigo. I don't want no Amigo. I want Amigos. You know what I'm saying? I want all y'all niggas to come in there and snap and give me them lyrics and give me them uh, that sauce, that drip. You feel me? When I hear the track, the way I just want to jump up and down and the energy that it gives me and when I hear the lyrics and and yeah, I'm just very disappointed to hear that the Migos would decide to break up. I know they've been together for a long time and they've come up together in, uh, in the music game. And You know, I know how things can happen as people grow older, they grow out of things. But to see those guys come up together knowing that they're related and they've been brothers and everything that they've gone through and all the entertainment and memes and sauce and drip and what they've brought to the whole game is just sad to see, uh, you know, them potentially separate. But, you know, hey, Beyonce had to separate from Destiny Child at one point because she was a motherfucking star. So, hey, I don't, I don't know what this could potentially lead to, and I'm open to the possibilities, but it also is just a reminder that, you know, things are constantly evolving and constantly changing. And it stinks when something that you've have the love for so long, just all of a sudden the size is just not gonna be there no more. And there's really no rhyme or reason to exactly why that happened. It's just happened and that's the end of it. We might hear about it five or 10 years later in some long ass documentary for some more people to make some money, which I really don't wanna sit through. I just wanna know the fucking answer right now, which I'm not gonna get because it's none of my motherfucking business. But I will say I'm sad to see these niggas split up, if it is true. So, damn. R.I.P. Migos, if that's the case. They're gonna call Domino's them niggas fall. Ah, ah.